Hello, welcome back. My name is Pastor Davison, and I'm glad you are joining me for the first section of Lesson 8 of the Jesus Teachings, Sacraments, and Prayer Course. Did you know that believers of the Hindu religion use prayer wheels to pray? They believe that if you pray and repeat your mantras endlessly, your prayers will be answered. Even turning the wheel of prayer counts as a prayer. There are many YouTube videos of the same sentence repeated thousands of times. Based on scripture, this is not what God intended for prayer, but it is easy to fall into a similar mistake. How often do we pray without thinking about the words, without considering their meaning? That is not what Jesus intended when he taught us about prayer. The problem is not with prayer. It is often with us. Let's review Jesus' words in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Let's begin with the Lord's Prayer. When we fully understand the Lord's Prayer, we can pray it intentionally and avoid simply repeating the words. Let's learn the summaries of the Lord's Prayer written by Martin Luther. Our Father in heaven, with these words of God tenderly invites us to believe that he is our true Father and that we are his true children so that we may pray to him as boldly and confidently as dear children ask their dear father. Hallowed be your name. God's name is kept holy when his word is taught in its truth and purity, and we as children of God lead holy lives according to it. Help us to do this, dear father in heaven. But whoever teaches and lives contrary to God's word dishonors God's name among us. Keep us from doing this, dear Father in heaven. Your kingdom come. God's kingdom comes when our heavenly Father gives his Holy Spirit so that by his grace we believe his holy word and lead a godly life now on earth and forever in heaven. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. God's will is done when he breaks and defeats every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our sinful flesh, which try to prevent us from keeping God's name holy and letting his kingdom come. And God's will is done when he strengthens and keeps us firm in his word and in the faith as long as we live. This is his good and gracious will. Give us today our daily bread. Daily bread includes everything that we need for our bodily welfare, such as food and drink, clothing and shoes, house and home, land and cattle, money and goods, a godly spouse, godly children, godly workers, godly and faithful leaders, good government, good weather, peace and order, health, a good name, good friends, faithful neighbors, and the like. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. We pray in this petition that our Father in heaven would not look upon our sins or because of them deny our prayers. For we are worthy of none of the things for which we ask, neither have we deserved them. But we ask that he would give them all to us by grace. For we daily sin much and surely deserve nothing but punishment. So, we too will forgive from the heart and gladly do good to those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. God surely tempts no one to sin, 
But we pray in this petition that God would guard and keep us so that the devil, the world, and our flesh may not deceive us or lead us into false belief, despair, and other great and shameful sins. And though we are tempted by them, we pray that we may overcome and win the victory. But deliver us from evil. In conclusion, we pray in this petition that our Father in heaven would deliver us from every evil that threatens the body and soul, property and reputation, and finally, when our last hour comes, grant us a blessed end and graciously take us from this world of sorrow to himself in heaven. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We can be sure that these petitions are acceptable to our Father in heaven and are heard by him. For he himself has commanded us to pray in this way and has promised to hear us. Therefore, we pray, Amen. Yes, it shall be so. Please join the final life class for the Jesus teachings, sacraments, and prayer course. Again, I'm Pastor Davison. It has been a pleasure to guide you through this study of God's word. After you finish the live online class, you will have completed Jesus' teachings, sacraments, and prayer course. I pray you continue to study with tell and share what you have learned with many. May God's love and peace surround you all your days.